So, Elodin. Charming so far. What do we got? Besides the sand. The remnant monolith suggests this was indeed supposed to be a golden world. It also suggests the presence of a vault. Additionally, here is the large derelict remnant ship that we saw as we landed. Hopefully abandoned? Scans indicate it is not. The site is active with scavengers and remnant bots. Lovely. Here, scavengers have taken over an abandoned camp between the two. In this direction, located in one of the planet's sinkholes, is New Tachanka, the Krogan colony. Sinkholes? Sounds fun. Not really. Elodin is tidily locked to its sister moon and that gas giant above. This side of the moon never cools. Getting trapped in a sinkhole without shelter would mean certain death as one's blood would boil in 75 seconds. Oh boy. And on that cheery note, let's head for the climate-controlled paradise of the Nomad. Right? Five minutes later. Uh, looks like that was another memory gate, Sam. And the last. However, a deeper level of encryption is in place. Unfortunately, the conditions to unlock it haven't yet been satisfied. Oh good. Well, let me know when that changes. No telling what Dad was up to. The second we're out on the dunes, you're dead. Who, me? Really? With my armor and my guns, I'm dead? I mean, I know it's hot out. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, you mean you're gonna kill me. Lucky okay. Paradise has shade. I'd fry out there. Yeah, you would. Therefore, I don't think I'm dead. Hello. Oh, hello. Person. Scavenger. What are you looking at? Nothing. Um, what? Nothing. Really? Because it looks like you're looking at me. I don't like it. Maybe I am looking at you. I'll look where I want. Yeah, maybe I'll shoot whoever I want. I thought the rule was no guns. <laughs> that won't protect you outside the gates. If you see me there, you better run. Pathfinder, is it necessary to engage with this individual? I don't see how it helps our cause. Right. Let's just back away slowly, guys. <sighs> Ryder? I heard that little exchange. I don't understand it. They screened every initiative applicant. How did so many of them end up violent and unstable? You think something's up? That's what I want to find out. Can you scan the scavengers here in the paradise and transmit the data to me? And, you know, be discreet. You're right, Gudger. Stealing the next shuttle out of here. Fascinating. What's well, fascinating? Care to share? I didn't do it. Didn't do nothing. Okay, you didn't do anything. Good. Tell them that when they come. When who comes? Someone's coming? We're getting visitors? You're a moron. Strange. Data's not coming through. Try another one. Wow. Be careful around that one, Ryder. Perfect. I'm gonna mess you up when we get out of here. Yeah. You messed me up, you're never seeing Star Trek. Excellent. What? I have my Star Trek right here. I'm gonna peel your skin off and feed it to you. And I hid those charts. You kill me, no chance you're leaving this hellscape. And I'm gonna kill you right here. I just told you I have your map. You're way off this planet. How are you so stupid? <laughs> Rider, that should be enough. I'll analyze this and let you know what I find. Good show. I've analyzed the scans you sent me. I found something odd. Each scavenger's neurons were firing at an abnormal rhythm. What does that mean? It's only a theory, but I think some people are more susceptible to complications that can happen during the cryo process. Oh boy. Their neural paths were altered. Great. Oh, 
I'd like to test the serum on a live subject, but we need a good candidate. Scan the scavengers at the Paradise again. I'll tell you when I see a potential. Ah! Someone all the way over at that end. There. He's perfect. You'll need his permission to administer the serum. We won't force it on him. You sh- Uh... Hey there. Don't know what they told you. I don't have nothing. I just want to give you this medicine. It might make you feel better. Feel better? Haven't felt this good in years. I don't want your blasted medicine. If you take this, you can feel normal again. Start your life. <laughs> a life of serving the Nexus? Of being bored out of my mind? No thanks. I'm free as a bird now, and damn, it feels great. Just leave me alone. Leave all of us alone. We're happy just how we are. If you don't want to be cured, I won't make you. Good. Now get out of my face. <laughs> Your mind regressed in cryo. This will bring you back. Bring me back to what? Scraping and bowing to the initiative? For the first time in my life, I'm free. And damn, it feels great. Just leave me alone. Leave all of us alone. We're happy just how we are. What if your brain decays more? You can't live like this. Just take the serum. And if I say no? I won't make you. But you'd be making a big mistake. You're a pain in my ass. Fine, give me the stupid thing. Finally. I take it, you leave me alone. Now shove off. Not the first Took patient I've had medicine. who resisted treatment. Nothing to say now. Are they really happy this way? It's their sickness talking. Is it? I wonder. I'll monitor his progress and send you my findings. Thanks, Ryder. Hello, you. Hey, I recognize your insignia. Your Nexus, right? A Pathfinder. Kent Halsey, Nexus Security. Didn't know your duties reached all the way to Eladin. It doesn't. I'm here for... personal reasons. Uh-huh. My sister Isabel fell in with the wrong people. She joined the Rebellion and was exiled to Kadara. Somehow, she pissed off enough people to end up in this hellhole. Your security and your sister's a troublemaker. Puts you in an awkward situation. I don't care about that. I'm here to find her. I know she can't come back to the Nexus, but we can start over on Kadara, together. You'd give up your life for her? Izzy's the only family I have. I'd do anything for her. Wow. The problem is, I underestimated this planet. I don't have a vehicle or a way to survive the heat. I'm stuck before I've even started. Don't worry. I can track Isabel down for you. I hoped you'd say that. I think the salvager from Kadara has info on her. She wouldn't give me anything, but maybe you can get her talking. Good to know. One minute later. Well, well, look at you. I'm good at reading people. Want me to guess who you are? Hmm, Gia shit. Wonder. A Pathfinder. Yeah, no shit. Impressive. How'd you know? I cheated. I run salvage to Kadara. Word travels fast there. Should hear what the Collective is saying about you. What are they saying? Well, now I'm curious. I will repeat it, for your sake. Got info on someone named Isabel Halsey? What am I, your personal database? Pretty please, 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 please. Pretty, 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 please. Come on, you're the only one here who doesn't want to kill me. Just help me out. Fine, fine. I I've never met her, but I heard a few scavengers talking. Okay. Mention a cave out in the dunes. Something about Isabel's time being limited. Oh, good. This is the nav point. Just watch out. That's a bad area. All of Elodin is a bad area. Good point. Much, much, much later. Please don't tell me there's pressure moths on this planet. I would be very cross if there are thresher malls on this planet. We're approaching a scavenger site. I advise multiple hostile life forms. Isabel could be in trouble. Let's move.
Okay, hold it. You. The one killing my guys? Come Your guys? Me. I want to talk to you. Was that? Isabel? Sounds like she's in charge. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, so she's in the cave. Got it. Life support is stable. Hello. Well, well, you're from the Nexus. Should have known. I don't sell to your kind. Matter of principle. If you're Isabel, your brother sent me. Kent? For what? He wants you to go back with him. To Kadara. Well, you can tell him I'm not going anywhere. On the Nexus, I was a merchant's assistant. On Kadara, I ran errands. Now, I make weapons for the most powerful gang leaders on Elodin. I get perks, protection, and no one would dare touch me. Finally get the respect I deserve. And the best part is, I don't have to talk to ass kissing Nexus dogs. Except now, I guess. Uh, I mean, it's your choice. I'll just tell Kent he's wasting his time. Glad we reached an accord. Now get out of my camp. Much, much, much later. You've gathered sufficient samples for Dr. Camden to continue his work, forwarding the results. Good. Now he can keep up with his gardening. Botany. Same thing. One minute later. There's a data pad. We should take a look. Damn right, we should. Shipment's delayed. You'll have to be the one to tell Big Taran he's not getting his guns. I'll hold Isabel here till you do. Don't want things to get messy. Oh. Isabel's mentioned in this. Updating your interface with the nav point. We almost have her. Oh, oh wow. We're going to be stuck down here forever, aren't we? Kind of like her. Oh, good. You heard me. I was starting to think I'd have to walk back to that rundown shack they call a landing zone. What are you doing out here? I'm a scientist from the Nexus. I've been surveying yeah. Elodin's geography for several weeks now. Uh huh. And now I'm stranded on this hellhole. Shuttle problems? I take it your shuttle broke down. Well, yes and no. A few days ago, my shuttle overheated and died. Then I ran out of water. After two days without a drop, I got desperate. Ended up trading a part from my ship to some scavengers. Oh boy. Once the delirium subsided, I realized my mistake. Turns out I sold them my thruster, which you need to fly. Can't you just get the thruster back? Oh, I tried. Went to their camp. They laughed at me and said a deal's a deal. But you're a Pathfinder. Maybe you can talk some sense into them. Get that part back. I mean, sure. I'll have that thruster for you in no time. Helpful and efficient. I like that. I'll give you the nav point for the camp. Be ready. They're a prickly bunch. Uh, so tell me about the sinkholes. Are you studying the sinkholes here? I'm trying to figure out what causes them. Any luck? My scans show a high concentration of calcium carbonate deep below us, high enough to create pockets of brittle rock. These pockets break down and collapse, and it causes a chain reaction all the way to the surface. Incidentally, that would also account for all this sand. Uh, any findings on Elodin in uh, particular? Have you learned anything useful about Elodin? That depends on what you consider useful. Try me. Well, I assume you know Elodin receives constant sunlight. There is no nighttime. Oh! But I've found evidence of a rare temperature dip, which means the planet experiences an occasional eclipse. Can you imagine? Constant blazing sun for years, then a week of night. It must be jarring. Very jarring. Good luck out here. A few moments later. Uh, this camp looks empty. Gotcha, they're dead. They're either dead or they're hiding in wait. Yeah, 
Yes, I get that there is something to scan, but I can't seem to find what it is to scan unless it's above me. Game. Seriously. Oh. Yes, though. Life support at 100%. Pathfinder, I detect movement. Someone is behind that door. Yeah, they are. And there's a body here, too. It appears he's been dead for several hours, Pathfinder. But who killed him? Very good questions. Oh! Residue indicates this crate once held weapons, but it's now empty. No weapons on the dead scavengers, either. Talk to you in a second. Analysis of alcohol content reveals it was brewed here on Elodin. Made here? Out of what? It's probably safer if you don't know, Pathfinder. Hi. I I can be friendly. Let's talk this out. Why were you hiding? You wanna tell me why you were sneaking around in there? You saw the camp. When Axius comes, the only thing to do is hide. Who? You haven't heard of him? Axius leads the meanest gang on Elodin. They run raids on other scavenger camps, never leave anyone alive. Last night, they picked our camp. I was lucky enough to find a hiding place. Been in there ever since. Your gang bought a thruster from a scientist recently. I want it back. That piece of junk? Didn't even fit our ship. Axius must have taken it. He took everything. Hey. You can try getting it back from him if you have a death wish. I'll even give you the nav point. Uh, are you going to be okay? You going to be okay by yourself? This happens all the time. I'll find a new gang. Oh, one more thing. If you see Axius, shoot first. He's not a talker. Good to know. One minute later. I detect multiple life forms, Pathfinder. Likely Axius and his scavengers. Records indicate Axius has multiple bounties on his head. Be careful, Pathfinder. <laughs> And now he's dead. Which Pathfinder? Life support is back online. This appears to be the thrust catalyzer from Nora's ship. Finally. Let's get it back to her. We're also taking extra shit, just cuz. Yes? Here you go. I got your ship's thruster back. Well, catalyzer. Same thing. Seriously? I wasn't sure you'd pull it off. Wasn't easy. I went to a lot of trouble for that. Took down some nasty scavengers. I'm not surprised. They're an unpleasant bunch, aren't they? Well, I'll install this and be on my way. I've got a lot of planet to cover. Be careful out there. Right. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> Thanks for the rescue, Pathfinder. You are welcome. You're approaching the refuge of Dirk Barrett. We are not hostile. Repeat, not hostile. Please do not shoot. Don't trust everything you hear out here, kid. Pathfinder, I'm Dirk Barrett. I speak for everyone you see here. I'm glad you're hearing me out instead of shooting me in the face. <laughs> Talk or shoot him. <laughs> that could change. It never really hurts to listen. I agree. Most of the people who live here don't, as I'm sure you've noticed. They kill anything that moves, including each other. Long-term prospects for survival? Zero. <laughs> Me? I haven't lost my mind. I don't want to die. Neither do these people. That's why I need your help. Well, I am the Pathfinder, and I'm pretty sure my job description includes help people survive in Helios. Yeah. So, shoot. What do you need? First, we need to move. This shelter is small and can't be fortified. Another gang has taken over a base about 20 clicks from here. Beautiful setup they don't know how to use. <laughs> Idiots taking apart the walls for scrap. If you can help us clear them out, I think we'll be good. Can't we do this peacefully? I mean, I'll try, but all the same. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Pathfinder. Anything else you need to know, just ask. Yeah, let's talk about... Yeah. If you manage to get a fortified base, 
What then? Trade, hopefully. We know the Krogan are out here. Once we're set up, we'll try to make contact. Maybe if we're really successful, the other exiles will come around and join us. I just know that anarchy is unlikely to get us very far. We need people working towards the same goal. I like your optimism. That's the stuff we need to really make it work out here. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm a romantic at heart. What can I say? I'm not stupid. I know it's not gonna be painless. But, as they say, if you're gonna die, better die trying. Uh, your group's odd for Aladdin. You and your crew aren't as violent as the other scavengers here. From the start, Eladin was about how much firepower you had. Got firepower, you can take what you want. Resulted in lots of people using their guns to get bigger guns. Eventually, I had to step back and think about what I really wanted out here, and how to get there. Turns out I wasn't the only one. And also, why Eladin? Why did you come to Eladin? Seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Not the smartest move. Kadara bothered some people. Sloan muscling her way into Angara territory. I guess some of us wanted to start with a clean slate. Too bad I got shit on so fast. Nothing else right now. I'll head out. Alright. Won't we'll keep you. Why do I have a feeling I'm gonna realize I was lied to? Much, much, much later. This is the place Barrett wants to move to. Well located, good view of the surrounding area. I can see why they want it. increasing. Is that all of them? That was way too easy. Yep. I have a feeling it's not as simple as you led us That's to believe it is. Incoming. Yep, there we go. Place is swarming. Explains why Baron wasn't willing to take the risk himself. sophisticated. I wonder what they're trying to protect back here. Uh. 
temperature levels are climbing, Pathfinder. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Hey, Pathfinder, you still alive? The base is clear, like you wanted. Excellent. We'll start preparations for the move immediately. Come by when you can. We might have some stuff hoarded around here that you could use. Barrett, out. That's a lot of equipment. They've been stocking up. Yes, they have. Colony. Colony. Sounds like it's possible he used us to get to this. Maybe his plans extend further than organized people for a better life. So we just take this. I don't like it. He might have plans to attack the colony. We'll ask him. I'll give Barrett the benefit of the doubt. Besides, he'll need it to defend this place. Oh shit, that's the wrong, that's, that's not what I wanted to do. The colony. Barrett's not getting this. We'll take it for the colonization effort. It's safer in our hands. Sam, get word to the Tempest. Move this gear before Barrett finds out. Understood, Pathfinder. And if he says anything? Security's pretty sophisticated. I wonder what they're trying to protect back here. The best part is he can't complain because get out of his heat zone. Because all he asked us to do was secure the place. You're Ania. That's right. You've heard of me. Word gets round. You thrive on Eladin, which is supposed to be uninhabitable. True. I have made something of a paradise here. No fighting, no violence. Outside the gates, you're on your own, but in here, you're safe. Anyone violates the peace, they have to answer to me. Yeah, everyone's on their best behavior. Is it natural, or are they on something? Huh, <laughs> nothing so complicated. These people need me. They need what I sell, so they behave, or they're out. Now what can I get you? How can I help? Just let me know. Uh, let's talk about you. You have a pretty good attitude for a place like this. I've got nothing to complain about. I'm rich and no one messes with me. Most powerful woman on Elodin. Yeah? I don't mean to brag, but absolutely. Okay, let's talk about Elodin then. What else is here? I'm a businesswoman, not a tour guide, but I'll tell you what I know if it suits me. You get along with the Krogan? Everyone comes to Elodin with the dream of leaving, except me and the Krogan. They built their colony into a sinkhole. Smart. Keeps it cool enough for them, I guess. They have their own water? Unfortunately for them, no. But Mordor and I get along well, so far. Who lives on this planet? Desperate folks, mostly. Misfits, some. Those that can't get along in the regular world. Or people willing to make a profit off that desperation. Like you? Careful, sweetheart. You want to keep me on your good side. There's a place they call the Flop House, Eastish of here. Den of murder and misery. You should pay it a call. What can you tell me about that derelict ship? Ah, oh, you came here to get killed, did you? <laughs> Scavengers are trying to pull it apart, is all I know. I don't go near their claims. They shoot on sight. Good to know. What can I buy? I don't know. What do you have to trade? Mostly I sell water, but you should go out to the tanks if you want that. Is there anywhere else on the planet to, I don't know, find water? Not really. And if I don't like the look of you or you get on my bad side, then no water for you. Oh shit. Later. Hey guys. We'll have to ration That's our water full. if we don't find this source. Can you give me a has info oh, yeah, one to see what's spare for barter. The one by the dock. Do what you can. Security's Every bit insane. Helps. We'll never get in there. 
Just trying to find an alternative to calm in the wastes. Hey, did you make sure comms aren't set to wide broadcast? Uh, what? Ah, oh, shit. Huh. Comms just went dead. The vault's active. A terraformed Eladin will have surface water. Terraforming is a slow process, Pathfinder. Sure. The scarcity of water presents an immediate obstacle to any attempts to settle. Worth investigating, then. Those scavengers talked about security around Ania's office. I bet there's something there. Five minutes later. I think this is Ania's office. Check the security on that door. I'll keep a lookout for guards. As expected, it's locked. A scan should tell you how best to proceed, Pathfinder. Eventually. Huh. Got the code for the office door. Morning. Let's be quick in case Ania comes by. Rashad, I told you we can't do it during the eclipse. Those scavs are getting smart and they'll expect us to move while it's dark. We have to be very careful around the entrance to the lake now because I've seen them in the area. If they get their hands on advanced scanning tech, they might even notice there's something underground. Use distractions and misdirection to lead them away from the reservoir. I planned out some routes. The map markers and nav points are attached. An underground lake. That's where she's getting her water. Got the nav point. Let's get out of here. A few moments later. And now we don't. That's a lot more water than I was expecting. And it looks like Reaper Tech. This water is clean of any sulfur and other harmful chemicals. Likely drawn from deep underground aquifers. Huh. I wonder what the Remnant Builder's plans were. I'm disappointed, Pathfinder. I thought you were someone I could trust. I welcomed you into my home, and you repay my kindness by robbing me. Didn't take anything. Hey, I didn't take anything. Left every single drop of water where I found it. Count them if you like. Very glib. Do you know why I do this? Holy crap, glitches. I tried to help your people when they first came here. He showed them where to find shelter, allowed them to take freely from our water tanks. He was killed for his trouble. I won't be as foolish as Asgar. Denying people water is not going to help. They're going to eventually start plotting against you. Don't you think you're headed toward the same fate by restricting access to a necessity? If I die, so do they. There's not enough surface water on Elodin. These scavengers respect no one, not me, not you, but they do respect the planet. As long as they need me to survive, they live by my rules. You want me to forget everything I've seen? Exactly. You say nothing. You allow me to protect myself and my home how I want. How long have you known about this water? Asgar and I found oh, it years better. ago. On a mining expedition, the Remnant nearly killed us. 
I knew, even then, that I wanted to keep it a secret. It gave us an advantage. It took time to convince Asgar, but he came around eventually. I made him promise. Um, I mean, this is the greedy route, but what's in it for us? You expect me to do this just because you asked nicely? Your Nexus needs resources to survive. Elidan is rich in those. What I gather, I will share, just so long as Elidan remains mine. By keeping this secret, you're preventing anyone from establishing a real home here. I've allowed your Krogans to stay. It shouldn't be about what you allow. It's not up to you. So now I have to sit by and watch you destroy everything I've built. I will hound you every step of the way. This isn't over. Get them! Kill them if you can! Someone trustworthy in charge of the trading post. Sam? As you wish, Pathfinder. I have relayed the information to the Nexus. Let's hope this works out for the best. Yeah, because I'll be honest with you, both options were garbage. Some time later. Good to see you, Pathfinder. Director Addison and Supervisor Kesh gave me the task of overseeing operations here. With luck, we'll soon see some changes on this trading post. Uh, what's your role here? Now that Aeneas gone, what are you trying to do here? I'm sorting through Aeneas' books and forwarding what I find to the Nexus. The plan is to maintain this trading post and offer support to the Krogan colony. Later on, we may use it as a base to expand Nexus mining operations on Elodin. Uh, what about the water situation? What are you going to do about the water situation on Elodin? The water you found is being distributed fairly. People can expect to receive as much water as they need when they come here. Regardless of who they are. Good. Even the scavengers? Even them. They've been advised that any abuse of the privilege may result in it being taken away. Good. They seem to understand. For now. And have there been any trouble so far? Have you encountered any resistance? Any violence? Is everything okay? We have enough guards and soldiers to put down any violent opposition. For now, it seems to be working. Perhaps we can rehabilitate the population of the planet, but that's a long ways off. Well, good luck. Much, much, much later. Here they come! So, Morda's still pissed off at the Nexus. You'll want to be careful around her, kid. It's amazing they managed to set up any kind of working colony on this hellscape. Once the Krogan put their mind to something, they'll get it done. Will not fail this time. Kill them. Pathfinder. And he is not giving up. Looks like outlaws. Life support at one hundred percent. I'm told your friends were killed while attacking the human Pathfinder. While I imagine financial gain is no longer your sole motivation, I will pay you a higher fee for a second attempt. Do not fail this time. No more lives will be lost to this meddler. Okay, hi Ania. Oh. 
Well, I seem to have made an enemy. Oh, what the fuck is that? Some time later. Rider, worm. Ah! Worm, stay out of its way. Stars above. It's real. Analysis shows it's a remnant of missile. Locals call it the worm. Non-hostile and impervious to weaponry. However, I advise keeping your distance. Good to know. Stasis pods from Ark Natanus. Are any of them alive? It's difficult to obtain a clear reading on all pods at once. We should investigate. Subject is too old. Oh, there it is. Too many variations in the genome. Help me get it open. Pathfinder, the body has no vitals. Sam, check the pod's history. According to the final log, this stasis pod was jettisoned from Ark Natanus. Because of the scourge? The timeline doesn't match. This pod was ejected long after Natanus was reported missing. Then why evacuate? These stasis pods were dumped for a reason. Could have been dead already. We should finish checking the pods for Mason, then report back to Avidus. Reading negative. No match. None of the pods match Mason Barrow, Pathfinder. Hopefully that means he's still alive. Hopefully. Ryder, are those scavengers dismantling the remnant tech? Is that a problem? It is if they get their hands on a remnant core. It could become unstable and attract the Scourge. How do we stop it? Beats me. Pathfinder, I could modify your Omni tool to disable the cores and prevent them from reacting. Please do. Do it. Let's go fix this. Oh, and there's a big one. Go this way.
I'm working here. Good. That should do it. Pathfinder, I detect scavenger interference at additional reference sites. Oh, good. They never make it easy for me. Let's go to those other sites. Later. You know the drill. Go find those cores. What grab me? So how do I get up there? Oh. I detect above normal temperatures. Life support restored. Oh. Next up. There. That's it. Pathfinder, I am picking up unusual readings at the final site. Energy levels are higher than normal. The cores are already unstable. You need to hurry, Ryder. few moments later okay 
now? Just... Uh-oh. Temperatures are within acceptable limits. Looks like a remnant structure. Yeah, they are. That is good. Temperatures are within acceptable limits. Let me work, damn it. Dodged a big one, Ryder. Thank you. You're welcome. Later. That's it. Good work. Let's do this! Heat levels increasing. Got them all. Divido, I think there's still one thing left. Ryder, there's a remnant data cache here. Pardon. Got it. Sam, you get any data fragments from that? I did. They appear to be related to the first cache, but scavengers have damaged the memory. Of course they have. Oh. 
but we know what that means. Also. Oh, yes, please. You get an update from that, Sam? Yes, Pathfinder. I've narrowed the data to Elodin, but can't get a clear reading. I advise caution. Render tactics or they be hostile. Dead. Pathfinder, I've completed the nav point from this data cache. It points to a location here on Elodin. Updating your interface with the entrance code. Nice. This'll be good. Eventually. Oh, that would be the vault, I think. Yep, this is the vault. Well, you're wrong. It doesn't Pathfinder, look I detect multiple organic readings. Someone's been here. How rude. Get behind me. Yes, the Hydras.
Nice. There is a high concentration of valuable data here, Pathfinder. So that's what the scavengers were after. Sounds like. So this place still has a few tricks up its sleeve. Well, it's all mine now. Okay, and that's all icky water th stuff that I will get killed if I go for, so I'm not going for it. Ah, there you are. I will take it. Ah. I say hey, again. I'm getting better at this. No, you're not. You're cheating. Pathfinder must think he's pretty tough to just stroll up here. I wonder how long he'd last in a real fight. They're testing you. Seeing if you'll take the bait. Later. Probably good Barbara, call. Listen to yourself. I know what I saw. Did that worm think I wouldn't notice? It's my squad, not Gren's, and I'll be damned if I let them take orders from him. Okay, what, what happened? Do you want me to do? Handle it, Cortic, or I will. Half the time, I feel like I'm the only one holding this colony together. Trouble? Varka and Gren fought together back home, side by side, but always in competition. Made them stronger. Now they have no enemies to fight, so they're fighting each other. Oh, good. I can see the tension building. Colonists taking sides. This is how clan wars start. Sounds like all they need is something to shoot. That's exactly what they need. Best way to stop this feud is to perform a rite of union. Which is? Shove them into a ring with a beast. Make them fight as a team. Defeating a common foe creates a powerful bond. Krogan, don't take that lightly. Help me perform the rite, and we can hold this colony together. Is the feud that bad? You really think Varka and Gren could cause a war? Big problems can start out small, not taking any chances. Okay, so then how do I help? How am I supposed to help with the right? For one, they need something to fight. Oh. I hope you don't mean me. <laughs> no. But I do need you to help me drive a beast into the arena. Shamans make a special lure for this. Should help subdue it. Okay, I'm in. I'll do whatever I can to help. Good. Set this lure out in the wild to attract a fiend. The beast might be feisty at first, so stay on your toes. I'll keep Farker and Gren from each other's throats till you get back. Good luck. 20 minutes later. Incoming! Set the lure. We should be in business. Good. I already filled Varka in. I don't like it, but I won't back down from a challenge. Gren's another story. He refuses to fight with Varka. Why? A Krogan wouldn't run away from a fight. There has to be more to this. 
He's a coward. Knows I'm the better warrior. Doesn't want to look bad. You want to try reasoning with him? I don't think he'll listen to an outsider, but it's worth a shot. It's Gren, isn't it? I'm the Pathfinder. There's a right of union waiting for you. I told Kordik, and now I'm telling you. I won't do it. Why not? Farka already agreed to the right. Don't care. I'm not fighting with that arrogant sack of rocks. This worth a war? You want to destroy the colony over this stupid feud? This colony is all I give a damn about. Then don't let it get that far. Do the right thing, Gren. You sound like Kortik. Fine. If it gets everyone off my back, I'll perform the right. But I don't trust Varka to fight fair. The second that fiend is dead, she'll gun for me. I need a third party to keep her in check. Someone neutral, like oh a Pathfinder. Me? That's right. I don't fight unless you do. Oh. What about my squad? No squad. Just you, me, and Varka. Guess I don't have much of a choice. Well. This is going to be interesting. Pathfinder, turns out that fiend you lured was female. Brought two males with her. Oh boy. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> One for each of us, I guess. Now this is a fight. Oh boy. I can't find cover because I'm gonna die! <laughs> wow! He just right went for my face. Jeez. Let's try some. some tech powers. I could have done that, but that's fine. Try that one. Oh, shut up, Gren. Now this is a fight. Me.
You can go away. All of you. I hate everyone right now. Jesus Christ. Okay. Get over here, both of ya. No funny business. Nobody's shooting the other in the back. Or so help me God, I will shoot both of you. Varka. Couple of those bites should have killed you. Almost did. Your quick shooting saved my hide. Yeah, well... Finally playing nice? Was that a compliment I heard? Don't look so smug. You're pretty impressive yourself, Pathfinder. Too bad you're not Krogan. You'd make a good warlord. And no thanks. Are you nuts? I'd never keep up with you two. <laughs> no one can. Thanks for the fight, Pathfinder. Let's do it again sometime. Hooray! One of your people tried to enter our family quarters. You tell him if we catch him there again, he's losing a hand. If you touch my people, we have a problem. Oh boy. <laughs> Karista Chana. Andromeda Initiative. Here to oversee operations and attempt to repair relations between the Nexus and the Nakmor clan. It is a tremendous accomplishment, securing their cooperation. Just don't ruin it this time. Just make sure you guys don't screw it up a second time. Well deserved. Leadership's previous decisions regarding the Krogan were short-sighted, prejudiced. Yes. I won't repeat their mistakes. Good. What's the status of the outpost? How's the situation here? Actually, I have a concern. There's a remnant architect in the area. Oh, God. I've even seen it on your way in. If it detects us, all the Krogan, it's going to attack. <laughs> remnant. Always stomping around like they own the place. Ryder? Don't worry. I'll have a good long talk with it. Some time later. Go for the legs.
Here we go. Making reinforcements. you follow it we've got to go after it Heads up. 
Pod's open. Now's our chance. Armor, target the legs.
armor, target the leg. relief. Thank you, Ryder. You're very welcome. I should get going. Be well, Pathfinder. Hopefully that's all of the architects. 